Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. Thought I'd come and sit outside, enjoy some fresh air and give you guys all an update on why I have been quiet on my YouTube for the last two months, where I've been and what has been going on. I have obviously kept up to date and active over on my Instagram um, if you follow me over there, but I know quite a few of you don't and only follow me on YouTube, so you wouldn't have seen or known sort of about the updates, where I've been and what's been going on. So I've grabbed myself a cup of tea and I thought I would give you all a little update and an insight into what's going on, what's going to happen and just general, yeah, big life changing things. Okay, so where have I been and what has been going on? So, my last video I uploaded was two months ago and that was at an arena high with Maya, which actually I filmed back in May time, um, but I didn't obviously get it out until two months ago because I had a lot of other things that I wanted to get out prior to that as well. And I kind of, the arena high didn't go great and I kept that um, as a video to post if I felt like I wanted to post it um, and sort of come to terms with what happened on that day which yeah I did so obviously it went up and it went live so the last time I would have sort of updated you on here properly um, was when me and Maya were going out and doing some bits and pieces to get my confidence back with her um, because we were having real trouble with confidence issues um, and her behaviour and things that were going on and anyway, we have now sorted all of that out and we are two months down the line and things are so much better and I'm really happy with where we are, what's happening and what's going on. And the only thing that has changed is I, I have added some magnesium to her diet um, with the help of Amiga Equine, who obviously I work with and am a brand ambassador for. And Izzy has helped me loads and we tried lots of bespoke supplements and different things and stuff and we were missing magnesium from these supplements. And it's something the vets have told us to avoid because her magnesium levels were fine and obviously magnesium can make them go the other way um, and could have made her behaviour worse and more sort of frightening and erratic. Um, but thankfully it was actually touch wood seems to have been, or shall I say touch wood, seems to have been the sort of problem um, for her. So I've had her on magnesium and things have been fantastic. We are back on top form. Um, I've done a dressage competition with her. I did a little showing show with her. Um, we we're back out hacking. We had our first gallop on the stubble field and it was my first ever gallop on the stubble field, which was an incredible moment. Um, the schooling has been fantastic. We really knuckled the contact work now and her whole attitude and demeanour in the school it has changed as well and the way she looks at things and copes with things and her attitude and handling her and in the field, just literally everything has transformed back to being the Maya that we first brought. Um, so I am thrilled about that. So there will definitely now be some content of us seeing a lot more together, a lot more fun things and a lot more going on now that I actually feel safe and she's happy to do so again. So that was the first update is that the Maya issues have been ticked off the list. The second update was the Quint issues. So the Quint issues are forever ongoing. We know they are. Between his battle with his laminitis and his arthritis, it's a constant week by week change of what goes on with that pony, how he's feeling, what's happening with him. Um, but I was having a bit of a down period with him again, um, back in them two months. We were really struggling with the laminitis because of the stupid grass that we've had this summer. And I was sort of umming and ah on, umming and ahhing, was it the time to let him go before the winter? Was there really anything else that I could do to help this and battle this? And yeah, what, what to do. So again, I spoke with Amiga and they were fantastic. And they said, try it up in the laminology. Don't take away all the grass completely because obviously he does need some vitamins and minerals. So he may be starting to go sort of like lethargic and downhill because he's actually not got enough in him. Um, he's obviously not moving around as much because he was kept stabled. So he was in overnight, out during the daytime. 
Um, and then Kira really like, like thankfully she does him with an evening um, late at night and would used to bring him in um, and she went on holiday and Izzy was staying at the yard um, and she was looking after him and the little bugger wouldn't let her catch him so she tried and tried and tried and it was a no-go it was sort of probably like nine I reckon half nine at night by that point and so she left him out and um, from that day he has now actually been living out 24 7 which is something i never ever thought that he would do or cope with but touch wood i have found a routine that has suited him down to a t and he is living out 24 7 and has been the best he has been for a long time at the moment i have a whole video that i'm planning on filming of managing an arthritic and laminitic horse during the summer um that will be coming out in a few weeks that goes proper into depth with everything now i have really found a routine that he is thriving as much as he can thrive on so that's the next update was the quinn update the next update sorry the cat is playing in the covers underneath here um so the next update is my life update um so most of you will know if you did follow me i had an injury back in may last year yeah it's been a year and a bit now since my injury um i had an ankle injury which unfortunately has left me with life-changing in life so life-changing injury and decisions um three of the ligaments and tendons in my ankle are severed well one of them severed and two of them are completely ruptured and then i have a tendon that is torn so my ankle is not great i have two options which were surgery or physio to try and strengthen and rebuild everything in there and strengthen all the muscles so they will become the supporting structure of my ankle to allow me to carry on with the horses riding sports etc etc um so i've been doing the physio now and things have been going really well um, and they're happy with it but it isn't quite as strong as what they were hoping and we aren't going to be able to build the muscles up to the strength that's needed for me to carry on working with horses as a full-time job um, which means I've had to make some pretty big decisions on what I'm going to do. So horses are my life, they've always been my life, I've done nothing but work with horses so a change of career is a massive thing for me and something I have absolutely no idea what I was going to do um or anything yeah so this was back in december i know this is prior to the whole update on youtube thing but it correlates as to what's been going on um so i then got called i applied for a job at an estate agent um back in december and i didn't hear anything so i yeah i was just like haven't got it cool whatever we'll file through until maybe something comes up um and then at the beginning of august i got an email that i wanted was wanted to go in for an interview um, and there was a position that had come up in the local branch near me um, and they obviously had my CV and stuff on file and they called me for an interview so I went for the interview um, and everything and did all that was needed to do which has been sort of a two-month process which is what's consumed a lot of my time thoughts and energy as well as normal life horses work and everything else in between um, and yeah fast forward to today I am actually going to be starting that new job which I have announced over my Instagram already but again I know some of you aren't there so I thought I'd announce here too. I will become an estate agent as of the 16th of October which yeah I don't know I don't I don't really know how I'm gonna feel or what's going on it's a bit sort of too far in the future at the moment that it doesn't really feel real and um, there's sort of like another six to eight I think it's about seven weeks before I actually do start um, so yeah, it doesn't quite feel real at the moment. Um, so I'm not really sure how I feel about it, but I'm sure near the time I will be terrified, <laughs> very nervous um, prior to starting. So yeah, that's my big life update is I will be, yeah, becoming an estate agent, <laughs> leaving the yard as the yard member, but I will be keeping the horses at the yard. Um, so I am um, luckily, Kira is allowing me to keep Maya on sort of like a full loan type thing um, and I'll be keeping Quinn there on livery so I'll be staying at Hill Farm as a livery but not as a staff member which is going to be really weird and really sad um, but yeah life has to move on you have to grow up at some point <laughs> so yeah I'll be leaving and that is where I will be going so the next thing is an overall horsey update because as most of you know obviously Quinn is actually my own horse 
Uh, Maya, I yeah, kind of have this full loan type thing with Kira. Teddy, I just ride. He's one of the riding school horses, but I adore him. I'm very close to his owner who loans him to the yard. She's lovely and obviously lets me do bits and pieces with him if I want to, if I want to take him to shows out wherever wherever I can do um, and Roxy was the same situation now I haven't obviously been on here or told anybody um, and it was another reason why I haven't really posted anything on here either because I feel like it needed to be obviously spoken about and addressed but I couldn't bring myself to film I'm um, even getting upset now without crying or saying something um, but Unfortunately, on August the 2nd, we lost Roxy. Um, sh the call was made to have her put to sleep um, due to laminitis. Now, as you know, laminitis is a really touchy subject for me anyway with the battles I've had with Quinn. Um, so to lose another horse via that illness um, and disease, yeah, it's been really hard. I'm what? We're like two months down the line and I still can't talk about it properly without getting really emotional. <laughs> Sorry, I'm back. I'm regained a bit. Um, but yeah, I obviously, yeah, like I said, I still can't really talk about it much without getting really, really emotional. Um, it hit me a lot harder than I was expecting. She obviously, she wasn't my own horse, but I loved her and treated her and cared for her like my own. Um, and I absolutely adored her and without her, I wouldn't sort of still have Maya um, or riding or I wouldn't have competed ever again or anything like that. So she held a really special place. Well, she still does hold a really special place in my heart. Um, yeah, and it was really hard losing her. We'll move on from that. We have unfortunately lost Roxy. Um, so yeah, the, the end of the Roxy content won't be on my youtube anymore when i can bring myself to do it i want to create like a little memory video um but yeah i don't think i'll be able to edit that quite yet together um for quite some time okay. <laughs> moving <laughs> off the roxy subject um before i cry my eyes out anymore on here um yeah we did unfortunately obviously lose dear Rox, um and that will be the end of the roxy content on here i still want to put together a little memory video when i can pull myself together to actually edit that and do that um so that will be coming at some point when I'm ready to to do that um but on a happier note my last little update news is that I now work with the fantastic country and stable as a product tester um which is something I never thought I would ever say I love country and stable as obviously you know there's so many online retailers out there I have just always shopped with Country and Stable after watching Life on the Buckle sort of Jess, the relationship she had with them and I just really like the way that they were. I really like their social media and like the content that they posted to advertise their products. I just like their website, how efficient their delivery has always been, the stock that they actually, every time I want something I know I can get it from there. It obviously helped that Jess had a cheeky discount that I would use and still use all the time. Um, and I just grew really like close to them and loved them. So I, yeah, I'm now a product tester for them, which is just, oh, it makes me so excited. I did get my first bit of product testing from them, which I wanted to do a video on here and I wanted to do all of that. Um, but yeah, obviously they've been fantastic with all the circumstances that have been thrown at me like a train at the moment. Um, and obviously been so good about that. I've done all the content and everything, so all that is over my Instagram if you would like to see that. I just unfortunately didn't get the video on the YouTube, which is what I wanted to mainly do, like do as part of it. Um, but I will be getting all the other content that I do with them that will be coming out on here, um, as long as life doesn't throw me any more giant size curveballs. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm just, I'm still speaking, just speaking about now and it's been a few months that I've sort of been a product tester for them. So it's just been awesome. I loved, loved, loved it. I've loved the three products that they sent out. So Teddy got a gorgeous fly mask. I'll pop some bits in here. Um, so Teddy got a gorgeous weather beater fly mask. I got a lavender liniment wash from Carde and Martin. And again, they just paired up the items with things that I already adore. Like I love weather beater. Most of my rugs are weather beater. Um, and horsey products with a beta. Cardia Martin is just my favourite brand for like 
horsey lotions and potions so i just loved how they like included that and i didn't pick the items they picked them for me so it just again it just shows how much care and attention they show to like their ambassadors like product testers and things like that i just yeah it was so cool so yeah we've got the fly mask we've got some fly spray from carly and martin uh the lavender liniment wash i got a baseball cap some treats for the ponies yeah it was just it was so kind of them i absolutely loved it um and I cannot wait to continue that partnership with them. So yeah, that is everything updated in this video. Sorry that it's rambly, it's long, it's been emotional, but I wanted to just put this out here now before I continued with the rest of the content going up over the next like few weeks. Um, oh, I also went on holiday in July for two weeks. So again, I was out in Lanzarote, so I wasn't with any horses to film any content. Um, and that will be the same in October. I'm going to Greece for two weeks before I start my new job. So again, there'll be a couple of weeks of no content, but I'm really gonna try my hardest to get the content out every week on a Friday night or a Sunday as best as I possibly can. Um, and hopefully with this new job, it means that I will have more time to do so with the horses, have more energy, more life, and just more like, oh yes, I really wanna ride. Yes, I wanna do so with the horses. Cause working with them really drains that out of you when you have your own on top. Um, for anyone who's in a similar situation will fully understand that um but yeah thank you so much for watching thank you for listening to you rambling crying getting emotional and i really look forward to seeing you guys in some future content bye